Hi guys, welcome to this vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while because I vlogged earlier last week because I vlogged when I was visiting Alyssa. I got little fever runes with me. Little fever runes. I actually filmed a couple clips, I think on Friday, and I'll insert them after here because I think it was a little bit of stuff from Trader Joe's. Um, but then we'll get back on track. It is Sunday. September 1st. Happy September. I don't know what it is, but September comes and I, 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 I literally start craving pumpkin stuff. Like now it's all things pumpkin. Pumpkin stuff, pumpkin candles. I bought my first pumpkin candle that's out in the, um, on the bar out there. Anyways, um, it is Sunday at noontime and, um, what's going on what am are we getting into mmm I actually let me show you guys this oh my god you guys this is the coolest thing it is the it's like a hydration coach bottle it's got a little sensor on there and for one I was looking for a water bottle that had a nice drinking spout because Listen, listen, your girl is getting a little aging, like around here especially, and drinking from the straw is not helping the wrinkles around my mouth. So, I know I need to start not using a straw, and I've also been researching something that I can recommend to my clients because they all want more help in how to reach their water goals. And um, I love this. This is so cool. It comes in multiple different colors and it has an app and I'm going to put the app up on the screen so you guys can see it. But basically every time I drink from the bottle, it updates how many ounces I've drank. So this fills, it's 32 ounce bottle so I can fill it up. I'll probably end up filling it up like about three times a day, but at the end of the day, I'll know how much I drink. I won't lose track of how much I drink. So, so far today I've already had 24.4 ounces of water. It updates automatically. It's so cool. It syncs with your Apple Health as well. And uh, yeah, you could set your own goal. It can, kind of, it can give you recommendations. The app can like give you reminders and stuff. I do not want reminders, but you can put reminders. You know, like if you say like maybe if you want to be done with your first 32 ounces by noon, you can set a reminder at noon, but you can do all kinds of things. I won't be doing that, but I will. I like that it tracks how much water. I like that there's no straw. I like that it's pretty small, small enough to uh, still fit in a standard cup holder. And um, I like just how sleek it is. It charges just right back here. Um, but, and it pops open like that. Seals pretty nicely. Seems to be leak proof. Has a nice little handle and I'm kind of loving it. So it, it, it fit all of the things I was looking for. It is linked down in the description and I want to thank the company for actually sponsoring this video because they agreed to sponsor this video. I'm super excited. And uh, if you're a client of mine, I will be adding that to my request. recommended products because this is a really cool way to keep track water. So I've been using it for a few days now and I like it because I honestly, I would kind of just uh, lose track of, I would lose track of um, my water intake throughout the day because maybe like I still had some from the day before in my water bottle so I drink that and then I refill it and then I'm like, oh shoot, but how much did I drink already that wasn't a full bottle? And then I completely just lose track. So this is pretty cool. Anyway, so, and I like the way the water comes up. What's going on today? Today is, yesterday was my son's 27th birthday. I cannot believe. No, actually Friday, the 30th was his, my, his 27th birthday. Cannot believe that, uh... He's 27. He went out with his friends Friday night. Saturday was a little um, hungover. And so we're going to go out to a lunch today for uh, his birthday. It's just us three because, you know, usually this is like a family affair. And Alyssa comes and her boyfriend. It's kind of like the first time when she's gone. Um, 
but I will, I want to give you guys an update on that. San Diego was great. Thanks for all your support on that vlog. Um, I got back on a Friday night and then Saturday I just organized because that is my therapy. When I organize and clean things, I feel better. That is like a therapy for me. I was feeling a little better. I like, I'm not as like dark and blue and just depressed. Honestly, that's what I was dealing with. It was full blown, like a depression situation there for a few weeks, but I'm sure you can even tell in my demeanor on this vlog, the difference. It's kind of crazy to be honest when you're super hyper aware and when you come out of it and you know the difference anyways. Uh, so when I got home though, I finished transforming her old room into my new little at home studio for my membership site that's here on YouTube. By the way, if you want to join my membership site, you can join. It's exclusive content for members. There's two levels. Let me know if you have any questions about that, but that's linked down below. Now that I have the in home studio for that, there's going to be a lot more of that content. It's a, a show my husband and I do called Off Topic, is for members only, where we talk about things that we just kind of don't want, like super public but a little more, um, less public, I would say, but fun, off the cuff, off topic, literally, and just more exclusive content. And, and now that I have that studio, but anyways, I'm going to insert some clips here of that process and you guys can, um, take a look at the process of putting in that room together. And then I'll show you the finished product because I'm going to head in there right now. We're going, my husband and I are going to record an episode for our inner circle, which is our, um, our inner circle tier of our membership, which they get like exclusive content from us. And so um, we're going to do an episode of that right now. So I'll show you the finished product. But first, here are the clips of me kind of putting everything together and getting that going. And then, um, yeah, then we'll head right into what it looks like right now. so good we're really excited um, we're actually probably gonna go live today for everybody but we went to um, Trader Joe's got a few things at Trader Joe's I'm gonna make a Mediterranean bowl for dinner I'm trying to see if I got anything new I did get this this is new I'm gonna put it in my Mediterranean bowl it is red pepper and almond pesto sauce and it had pretty good macros so a quarter cup is only 76 calories so I'm not going to use a quarter cup, probably just use a couple tablespoons. I'm just going to put everything like in a bowl and mix it and make a yummy Mediterranean bowl. I got these, which I haven't had in a while. My mini falafels, uh, mini dill pickle falafels that are really good. Um, if you guys watched my last full day of eating, 
I told you I've been eating a lot of these organic raspberries. I've been really trying to bump up my fiber um, because I cut my calories down a little bit and so I just don't want to feel hungry. It's been working like a charm and I've been having this instead of raspberry jam on my yogurt. I make my raspberry sauce, but I warn you, if you get frozen raspberries anywhere else besides Trader Joe's, they have like a, almost like a metal taste to them. I don't like them at all. They're kind of gross. These from Trader Joe's are delicious. I don't know why. They taste different. They don't have that little aftertaste. Really good. So what are you making? For Din Din. I'm not having dinner now. It's way too early. It's like 4 o'clock. I'm going to have a snack. You know what? I might have one of our favorites. That, that's a snack? Okay, well, let's talk, let's talk to the blog about how we don't have the luxury of having meal-sized snacks because we don't have that many calories. Ooh, you got pizzas in there. That's literally a meal for me. Uh, uh, a hot dog and chips? That's your dinner? That's not your that's dinner? That's not my dinner. That's only... Must be nice. It's only 170 plus... It's a 300 and 310 calories worth Yeah, it's like a lunch for me. That's a snack for me. Bummer. Yeah, well, I think I might have a peach. I need to get some peaches. peaches right there. Yeah. You know what's funny about peaches? I've been meaning to say it on the on the podcast. I've noticed wow. Wow. you what you've you? said it a couple times. You've said uh, um, peach, <laughs> peaches and rainbows. It's not all peaches and rainbows around here. The saying is rainbows and butterfly, not pe peaches. It's not all peaches and rainbows around here. Yeah, I probably said you've it. You've said right. it a couple of times and it makes me laugh. It's not peaches and cream. Right. Yo, that's what you've been saying. It's not peaches and cream. Yeah. That's not a saying. I made it up. That's, that is that's a okay. made that's up not, that's, saying. That's, that's, that's Escobar saying. I said it. It's not all peaches and cream around here. It's not roses and rainbows or rainbows. It's not all rainbows and sunshine. Yeah. Butterflies and sunshine. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is. But we could ask the. Ask them what they think. Ask the vlog. Do you guys, have you guys ever heard of it's not all peaches and cream? It's not all peaches and cream around here. Oh, we, we got to restock on the chia because mama needs her fiber right now. We are good to go. Ooh, we should have more of these. This is back up. Well, we're not done with shopping. We're going to have to go Sunday. Put it in my hot dog bun. It's not even hot dog. It's just Pretend. spicy chicken apple sausage. Spicy chicken faux, sausage from Trader Joe's. A faux hot dog. 100 calories, 11 grams of protein. Can't miss that. 100 calories, 11 grams of protein. Where's Where that pesto sauce? Is it right there? You had it in your hand. Isn't it right there? Oh, right here. Yeah. Sorry. Hot on camera. Gotta put a hot on camera. My jalapenos in here, man. You know, I like my stuff spicy. I like my women. It's not all peaches and cream around here. Well, it is late because peaches are in season and they're delicious. We've been tearing them up. I don't really eat peaches. I used to as a kid. Peaches and cottage cheese actually make a really good snack. I make an apple too though. Our apples have been good. I got one left. Look at that, you guys. Ooh, my chicken, my sausage. Winning. Hot pockets. I, I did eat some last week when you were gone. Hot pockets? Yeah. Where? I left a few last week. Myself. You did? Yeah. What do you mean last? When you were gone in San Diego. That wasn't the weekend. I wasn't gone on the weekend. Or whenever you were gone, I ate them, yeah. No, I'm just, it's not, I'm gonna ship it. Um, I'm going to, not a, I want not chocolate. Yeah, this is, I need one that's not, um, 
It's not chocolate. I'm shipping Alyssa. I have to ship her a little package. I was going to put Halloween candy in there. Because it's Halloween. I have to ship her something tomorrow. Yeah. So I was going to ship, add some candy to it. Oh, I do need to see nut butter. The Justin's vanilla. Oh, this stuff is the best. Oh, the last one. I'm hooked on this one right now. Hooked on that. This is for my little care package. Look at this. This is good. Oh, that's a good one. I think Tyler has mentioned this one, so has Alyssa. Let's try this one. Sugar-free um, Thousand Island dressing. And Italian. Lots of options here. So happy right now. They have a big old box of my favorite popcorn. Yeah, I was just Staple. Oil. All right. Got the goods from Walmart. Goodies at Walmart. And most of these things in the store. But I did get some of these. These are really good cinnamon flavored, like little sweet buns from Legendary. 20 calorie, um, 200 calories, 20 grams of protein. So it's a nice little sweet treat. Walmart is the best place to stock up on the sugar-free jellos. In um, these are for the Ninja Creamy. They help with the texture of the creamy, but they're always sold out everywhere. But Walmart always has them, and Walmart has multiple. Flavors. They had the double. The big box of my favorite popcorn. 100 calorie mini bag of popcorn. These are great when you're in a deficit because it's volume. And then if you want to add a little sweet to it, you make your bowl of popcorn, put it into a bowl, and then do like a serving of Lily's chocolate chips. These are salted caramel flavor. I thought that would be yummy together. So I might have that later as a, as a snack. I don't know. This this one, honey mustard G Hughes, twenty calories for two tablespoons. That one that one would be really good to dip chicken chicken bites in. A uh, sugar free Thai chili, Justin's vanilla almond butter is my favorite. I got these little Halloween candies. I wanted to get something that wouldn't melt because I'm shipping a little box off to Alyssa, and I thought I would get her a bag of Halloween candy. Um, I just want to make sure it melts. So I picked that one, so I'll show you guys what else I'm sending her. And I need to go find a box actually to try to put that in. Oh, I'm gonna have a hard time finding a box, huh? I thought this was super cute though. I wanted to try to get stuff that wouldn't break. This is like instead of a candle, I got this bourbon. Pumpkin bourbon, like uh, scented oil. I'm gonna wrap it in in um, bubble wrap, and then I got her this little pumpkin, which I thought was super cute. And then when I was there at home, all the home goods, I was looking for a tray like this for her, either to put on top of her kitchen counter to put like a candle and like her seasonal. I thought this would look cute on there and then she could switch it up per season and her counters are like a black granite so I thought it would look good or she could also put this on her bar cart I ordered her a bar cart on Amazon that's going to get delivered where they're going to have like all their liquor bottles and stuff and she could also use that on there so I wanted to ship that I thought that was super cute and of course I got Halloween candy so I have to find a box that's gonna work for that. I did get some bubble wrap too, so I'll be able to protect it nicely. And then I'll have to drop that off at the post office. All right, we are getting ready for bed and I am gonna have some popcorn. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to bed watch uh, shows. I mean, not go to sleep, but watch TV. These dogs, they, they don't stop until I go to bed. 
Okay, I'm gonna weigh out a serving of these. These are, I had a couple of them. Oh my God, these taste so good. I ended up getting the um, salted caramel flavor baking chip. I'm gonna wait till it cools down a little bit before I. Before I put the chocolate chips in because I don't want them to be fully melted. I just want them to get like soft. Mm -mm -mm. They're happy we're home. I know. Okay, 14 grams is a serving good little serving. I'm going to refill my water. I think I did pretty good today. There we go. We've got popcorn. We've got water. Guys, that is it for another vlog. 